If you want to edit a PDF, you might try PDF Escape or maybe not. Honestly, I gave this tool a try. So whenever you see everything in this video, keep in mind that this is like the fourth time I've tried it and it was still very frustrating. There's a free online version. That's the one I'm reviewing and that's the one that I used in this video, but there's also a desktop version, but that's only available for Windows. So I was not able to use it but supposedly that's a little bit better. The free unknown version was just very clunky. Everything was loading forever. Ever took multiple steps. I cannot recommend this tool. And it's unfortunate because I've heard that this was a good tool a while back. And I guess just not being supported. Maybe the company is just not making money from this tool. So they're just not putting resources and money behind it. First, you have to go to PDF Escape, click on the free online, and then you can upload your PDF or drop it there. Now, when it's open at the very top on the left, you have insert, annotate and page. And if you click the arrow below, there's actually more options. Then you can see also a thumbnails of your pages of the PDF that you have. So the options at the top select text, view and edit. The edit option was the most clear. I'm editing things, the view. And the hand, I guess I figured out it's basically moving the PDF or locating or moving things and select text. I don't know what, what was this about because it just was not working whenever I tried to use that tool. If you want to add text, you click the insert text on the left, you insert and start typing. Now, another frustrating thing was really disappointing that you couldn't just double click the text to change the font and so on. And you couldn't even do command A to select it. You actually had to highlight it with your mouse or your trackpad. You can change the fonts and they have a variety of fonts, make it bold, italic. You can resize it, change the color, the basics, as well as delete what you have added in your text. So that was fine. Now look what happens now if I'm going to be moving the text or changing, resizing the text box. Every second it says changing element. Every time you're changing something, you're moving, you're adjusting, you're getting this message, changing element, it's processing and it's very delayed. So your actions are delayed. So you're doing something, you think, okay, I moved it enough and you let go of your mouse, it's loading and then it's moving the object or the element somewhere and it's not where you thought it will be. So then you have to redo it again. So it's a very delayed process. You can move items. And I was actually able to change the text, even though it says that on the online version, you're not able to edit the text in the free version, but I was able to. And then again, everything is just delayed, changing, resizing. If you want to align things or position things, it's just very delayed. And then by the time you let go, things are different. You can't cut and paste. If you want to align boxes, you can, but again, it's the delay process. There is no rulers, no guides to really tell you just kind of have to guess. And the problem is that you can't really do it very well because you let go and it's changing the element and it appears somewhere else. If you want to white out, you can go to insert and then white out. You can select things by freehand. And then if you right click on it, you can delete it. You can move the object forward or backwards. So that was fine. To highlight things, you go to annotate, highlight, and then you select the text. Now, the problem with this tool was that sometimes you had the option by default and then you couldn't change it in the already selected tool. So you put it over it and you had doubles and then you have to remove the first one to go to the second one. Maybe I should have tried actually going to that, clicking edit and selecting it and then changing, but it's just so many steps to take. Another thing was, what is this pink? overlay. I kept having this pink overlay over my page and I just could not figure out what it is. And I kept just deleting it. You can insert an image by going to insert an image and select it. And then once you select the image, you have to actually click somewhere because it doesn't know where to put it. You can resize it, but I didn't like how the proportions were not held. So it becomes a little bit of cute and you can also rotate it. And again, every moment you get this changing element, saving element messages. Again, I got the pink overlay again, somehow it disappeared. I'm able to actually remove the images easily. Once I click edit, select, delete. If you want to add links to your text, you basically have to go to insert link and then you select the text. You kind of draw a box over it and then you put the address. Now you can also remove a link by just clicking, make sure you have the edit option 
when you select your text and then you have that box, the linking box over your text. So you just select it and you have to just delete it. Again, I keep getting that pink overlay, which was very frustrating. One thing that I was actually able to do, which I was really happy about, was remove this watermark that I previously had. Some tools don't let you do that. I was able to go to the forms and actually start typing over the form. And there are some options for form fields and check marks under insert there's a check mark if you click on that now if you just click on it it just gives you this big check mark you have to just kind of draw it to to show the tool how big you want it and then to remove it you obviously now have to take two steps go to edit remove it you could also add circles and then form fields. Now the circle, I couldn't hold command or shift to make it proportional. If I selected my want to add rectangle, it would just put this default color red. I'm not sure where that red came from, but then I try to change it. You actually have to select the object, then change it. So then when I start putting different colors, then I have to go back to my previous one and remove it. So it's just so many steps. And then I was trying to scroll down to my signatures and it just was not doing it. The pink overlay kept moving. And so now I actually have to go click the view, zoom out, click the view, and now try to drag the page. But you see how it's just clunky. It's not, not responsive. And everything is taking this these extra steps. And now I was trying to add signatures, but there was no option. So maybe you can insert picture of your signature. You can add fields, you can add radio buttons and some other form fields. Then if you zoom into your page, you can view and now I can grab it and go downwards, but I was not able to find the signature option. If you click on pages on the left, you can organize your pages. You can just grab a page and just basically delete it, or you can just drag it and organize it. Other pages, you can crop it as well. And after all you've done, you can just go on the left and click the download button and you can open the PDF. And you can see that there's no PDF escape watermark, which is great. Everything else was fine. Now, again, it just was a very clunky tool. And even though I went through all these help files, um, many of them say and reference the, the desktop version of the tool rather than the online one, so maybe it's better. So thanks so much for watching.